Hey there, this is Mike Johnston, and today on the show we have an alternative pop rock electro duo from California called Back in Bloom. And uh, the duo is made up of Lori Steele and Alberto Beca, which hopefully I said that right. And they're here to talk about their new album and their new song, Heed the Flashes. And before we bring them on, we're going to listen to that song. So, heed the song. Alberto, how are you guys? Good. Hi. How are you doing? Good. So, how did how did how did Vacuum Bloom come to be? Um. Well, <laughs> I was performing under my my name, Lori Steele, um, about two about two years ago, um, and I was looking for a writing partner, 
and uh, was having a heck of a time trying to find one. Probably like for six months, people just didn't have the same vision and all of that stuff. So I decided, heck, I just need to go for a walk. Went for a hike in the hills and. And actually, that's where we met because it, it's funny. She was looking for a band, and I was looking for a band too. I oh. just moved to LA when we met. And... Yeah. And so I was walking my dog, and then all of a sudden I hear someone go, Oh, that's a cool dog! What kind of a dog is that? And then we started talking, and then I was like, Whoa, with the, with the accent. I was like, Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Mexico. I was like, Oh, what are you, what are you doing? I do music, and my brain's going, Tick, 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 music, music. Maybe he plays guitar, maybe he likes the same kind of music I do. I don't know. And then, um, then we had a writing session probably a week after that, and we actually wrote one of our first songs that's on um, our EP, which is This Time. So, yeah, was, yeah. Song first song we ever wrote together actually made it to the our EP. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, yeah. When, when you have a meeting like that, do you automatically just hear the like, oh, kind of stuff in the background, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that time we did afterwards, that, like when we, it was just so easy to start writing and you started writing chords and then you just kind of sit and think of some melodies and then something will hit and like you both hit like that, that wavelength where you look at each other like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. And then you just keep going from there. And then after it's done, it's like, ah, because it's really, when it's really easy like that, I mean, it's great. It's really good. But we do have some rough patches when, um, like on Heed the Flashes, the song that you just played, we, that was a really hard song for us to write together because we both had some different ideas about it. Um, and then it just wasn't perfect. So we ended up rewriting it probably four yeah. Four or five times we changed the key. That was a key. long time. Yeah. Long that's the long, session. yeah, I think that's the longest one. We even changed the key in the middle of it just to, and then we had to redo everything. Alberta do the guitars and do everything over again. You wanna... Yeah, basically it was, the song was done and I play one chord wrong by mistake and she started singing on another key and it sounded better. So we said like, <sighs> okay, so we need to <laughs> record everything on another key. Yeah. yeah. So people can get your song on iTunes or? Yeah, we're on iTunes. Um, you can go on MySpace, buy it on there. We're working on our website right now with our store and everything. But iTunes is usually the easiest place to go. And then um, Heed the Flashes should be up and ready to go, I believe, next Thursday. That's right. You, you mentioned you have some interest from like four labels already? Yeah, um, we sent out Heed the Flashes, the the song that you played, um, and it was mixed by Mark Needham, who mixed The Killers and Inner Party System and Cake and Sick Puppies. Like he's just a really talented guy, and we just blasted it out to A and R, and we've got um, four really good, four good bites. So um, we just sent them a new song of ours that we finished last week called Flicker um, to kind of help follow up with you know what our sound is because you can so you can get a little bit confused if you just listen to our EP and then you hear our new stuff because our EP is really has a lot of um, distorted guitars in it. And it's we, more like 90s rock. Yeah, with a little, with a little electronic. Yeah, and, so. yeah, and now we're just more focused in terms of alternative electropop. Um, so we just want to make sure that the labels realize that we, you know, we know where we're focused at and what we're doing. And, and, and it's actually a lot more fun to get away from all the distorted guitars and mess around on the keyboard and yeah. like do cool sounds and just make sound effects and... Um, Alberta's refrigerator doesn't work very well sometimes. <laughs> I came over once and it was making this god awful noise, like, and I was like, dude, we have to record it so and use it in a song, put like a, an effect on it or do something. And it's really, yeah, it's really right. freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, so we have that's what we're starting. We're playing with a lot of those sounds and um, yeah, things that you probably can't re uh, redo on stage, but, but <laughs> whatever. It's fun on the record. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, great. Well, hey, it was nice to meet you, and thanks for being on the show. Of course. Thank, thank you, so, you so much, much, Mike. Bye. Bye. <laughs>